We started with a bathroom and a laundry combined. It was old and crap. And now we've got a fresh new laundry that is really functional and looks amazing. My main design focus was just to have a really well-functioning room that, as a bonus, looks really stylish. We started off planning our layout and then we selected our products. Following that, we booked in our builder who was also the project manager, so therefore managed all the sub-trades. Once the build process was complete, the install happened. So we're a couple of weeks into the laundry build and install and as you can see it's a bit of a shambles here, we've got lots of stuff in the garage. At this time of the project it's very busy with tradies warming the house. So the builder and Tyler are on track working towards the finishing stage so we don't have any hold up for the next phase which is the installation. I'm feeling pretty excited because my laundry tap's just arrived so I'm looking forward to opening it up and checking out how it goes with the tile selection that we've got. It's pretty awesome when you ordered it online and then it comes along within a week and, and you get to open it up and see how it works with the other design choices that you've made. It's a pretty fun part of the design process. Because we had our design really pegged down at the outset and we were really clear about what we wanted, this part of the project seems to go really smoothly as there's not that many changes. It's been tricky living without a laundry, going through the process, but we're super excited about seeing a finished product and having a really functional space. When it was finished and I walked into that room, I was super excited that it looked so great and I had a whole room dedicated to just the laundry. I love the functionality of the room. I love the tiled splashback and I love the gorgeous black gooseneck tap. The bench top in the laundry is a lovely engineered stone and the tiling is a hexagonal concrete tile which looks great. We spent a couple of months planning the laundry which involved the decisions on the design and the layout and then sort of smaller detailing such as the tile choices and the tap wear. I guess the biggest takeaway for me was to really put a lot of time and effort into the planning stages and making sure your design choices are the right ones because it's very difficult and expensive to change that later on when you're in the throes of the building process. Doing laundry isn't exactly the most inspiring activity but doing it in such a gorgeous space really makes the most of it.